You did a good job. No, you did a good job. We did a good job. Yay. Everybody, have you ever wanted something better than a chicken bake? This is a steak bake. What we need first, because we're making steak bake. We're gonna get our filling all made up. So we're gonna start with some bacon. And we're just gonna chop this bacon up nice and fine. And we'll go over it a couple times just to make sure it's all chopped up. Last night I was hungry and wanted a chicken bake. Didn't have a chicken bake. But we made steak last night and it was really good. So I figured why not make a chicken bake even better. Thus, steak bake was born. Okay, once you got your bacon cut up to whatever consistency that you want, finer is better in this case. Bacon in the bowl. Now what we need is some amazing, amazing steak. Look at that beautiful steak here. We're going with a little bit of all kinds of steak here. Folded steel knives, wonderful knives. And if you haven't had my steak, it is the best. Bring it, Guga. A little extra fat in here is not gonna hurt a thing. It's gonna go right into that pizza dough that we're gonna wrap everything in. It's gonna be perfect. Now that we got that, we need to move on to our cheese. What cheeses do we have? We got some freshly grated Parmesan. Freshly grated. We have some freshly grated mozzarella. Okay, now that we got that in there, we're going to mix it up, see what it looks like. Because then we're going in with our liquid component. What liquid is in the chicken bake? It is Caesar dressing. And we are gonna go with some creamy Caesar, and this is like perfect. These are gonna be cheesy, melty goodness. Grab your Caesar, make it, get your favorite, whatever you wanna do. Put about that much in. It's about a tablespoon. And you mix it around. Make sure everything gets coated. Filling should look like this because it's steak and not chicken. These Tupperwares are nice though. Not sponsored. Don't even know who makes them. Amazon Basics. Amazon Basic. Those are Amazon Basic. We're gonna take one of our pizza doughs that we made a long time ago. That has been in the freezer. I don't know, there's probably a baker out there that's like, you can't do that. It's not gonna turn out right. No. I don't know. It tastes pretty good to me. I want a little thicker crust. I want a little thicker crust. So I'm going to roll this one out to about the same size and then I'm going to stack it. Okay. Get it right on there. Okay, we're going for a little bit extra width on these. I'm going to stretch them by hand a little bit too. This dough was in the freezer, so it hasn't quite come up to room temperature, so the gluten isn't super sticky in it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw a little bit of traditional, like this, because we're doing it this way. Doing it, doing it like this. Give it one final stretch out here. Now we're gonna go in with a healthy amount of our steak bake filling. Oh man, look at that. That's like no chicken, chicken bake. So when we get them like this, I'm gonna wrap the sides in here. I'm gonna pull this up, go clear over. Now we're gonna tuck it back in nice, nice and tight like. And we're gonna roll and we're gonna take the edge and we're gonna pull it up on top. Nice roll, roll. Okay, so that, that is a beautiful chicken bake right there. Non-chicken chicken bake. We're gonna take this seal lined baking tray, seam. You can press it in if you want. Same down. Just like that. Now we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave that one. Because we're going to do two more. 
Make sure you get your oven going to 425 degrees. All right, we're gonna put together an egg wash. What you gotta do is you gotta take an egg, you gotta crack an egg. Put it in a bowl. Then you need water. About a tablespoon. Once you got all of your egg mixed up really well, you're gonna go on and brush your steak bakes. And this will be so they get a beautiful browning on them. After these bake for 10 minutes, we're gonna take them back in, take them back out. We're gonna put some cheese on top, but I want this dough to really get nice and crispy for us. Okay, now those are beautiful, but there's one thing that they are missing. That is some chef that smokes salt. Nice layer of that on top. So we're gonna finish dusting these off. Okay, now what we're doing is we're gonna wait for that oven to get to 425. First 10 minutes, these will bake with nothing on them. We'll add some cheese and then finish them off. Temperature got up to 425. Now we're gonna pop these in for 10 minutes, take them back out and dust them with some cheese so that they look like that perfect Costco chicken bake. But these are steak. Middle rack, close the door. 10 minutes. All right, ready to take a look? Yeah. Two and a half minutes till we take them out and cheese them. Look how beautiful those are. Ding. Okay, timer off. Don't turn off your oven. I'm going to take you out, set them right there. This is Parmesan cheese. Just go right down the center of it. Okay, once you got your parm on there, you're going to go to your freshly grated mozzarella cheese. And lay it across. Once we got it all done like that, we're going to put it in for another 10 minutes. Then we'll take them back out and they'll be ready to serve. 10 minutes. Okay, these have finished. We're gonna pull them out of the oven. Can't see, we had a little blow out there. It's all right, it's all right. Look at that. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna let these cool down for about 10, 15 minutes. Cut on in, give it a try. We're gonna take a look at the inside of this bad mamma jamma. Hey, that turned out pretty good. Mmm. Mmm, smells so good too. Look at that. Give it a bite. Oh yeah. That is so much better than a chicken bake. Crust turned out good. Flavor is perfect. That is really good. It reminded me of a hot pocket. Hot pocket. But this is way better than a hot pocket. Way better than a hot pocket. Well, there's a testament. <laughs> if you've ever been on a fishing boat, you know about that's, a hot pocket. That's exactly what it flashed And you back wouldn't to. want to eat them. <laughs> but this is good. That's really good. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch that video.